what is going on? I hope you're all doing fantastic. Welcome to the start of a new series. I have been thinking about buying a new car and I thought why not make it a series? I will take you along with me on the journey of getting a new car and I thought today would be a perfect opportunity to tell you about the things I'm looking for in a car, maybe naming some candidates I will be looking at, maybe even test drive if I get the chance to do so, and to tell you why I'm looking for a new car. Maybe let's start with the last point. Currently I own a BMW 3 Series from 2004. It has currently 177,000 kilometers on the clock. It is slowly starting to show its age and as I'm currently doing about 20 to 25,000 kilometers per year, I thought it might be a better idea to get a new car to do this job. Nice Cadillac. I hope you could see it. It was an older Cadillac model and I love American cars. Next to the BMW, I also own a project car, which I haven't showed you so far, but I will show you in one of the next episodes. And I am just getting it. So I just bought it and I will have to bring it to my hometown. And I will take you on that journey as well. But this project car, isn't exactly suitable for daily driving so that's the only hint i'm giving you at the moment but let's return to the topic i'm looking for a new car what am i looking for in the new car the most important thing is that the new car is practical what do i mean by that it shouldn't use too much fuel around seven to eight liters per 100 kilometer are absolutely fine. It should have enough power so that I can start over taking cars without a hassle and it should just be comfortable. The seats should be a little bit comfortable so maybe no um, sports seats or stuff like that. Um, and it should the car should also be cool. And what do I mean by cool? Does it have to be a Porsche? No, definitely not. It should just be a car that I like. It could be a pickup truck, it could be a small hot hatch, it could be a station wagon, whatever. The only thing that matters is that I think that it's cool. And it would be cool if not that many people were driving it. So maybe not a V. W Golf or stuff like that. Then I definitely want to get an automatic. Why do I need an automatic? Yes, I love shifting, but when you're driving like 20 to 25,000 kilometers per year, like I do, and you're constantly stuck in traffic, it gets really annoying to have to shift all the time. So an automatic would be amazing and it would make life so much easier for me. Additionally, it would be amazing if my car would have cruise control because again, if you're driving so many kilometers like I do, it's just more comfortable to have a cruise control and going at a constant speed. It also helps, it also helps you to save fuel and lets you get to your destination in a more relaxed way. Then there are the safety features I want to have in my car. I don't need every single safety feature available on the market, but just some basics would be nice, like a blind spot sensor and maybe adaptive cruise control, but that's not a must have for me. And maybe, maybe the emergency brake systems that I don't know how they are called in English, but they are basically measuring the distance to the car in front of you and they can sense when the car in front of you is stopping and then they automatically stop as well. Then there are the comfort features that I definitely want to have. I already told you about the heated seats I want, but I also want to have the little sensors 
that modern cars come with uh, that tell you how far away you are from from the next car so when you're parking it's a little bit easier just to get a sense and it helps you to get into the tight parking spaces that we have in Germany so I would really love to have one of those then one last luxury item I would like to have in my car is Apple CarPlay you know I'm an Apple guy I own everything Apple produces and it would be amazing to have CarPlay in my car so that I can easily connect my iPhone and have Apple Maps showing up or um, Apple Music playing just control it from a big nice screen so what are some cars that I will be looking at there's the BMW 1 series and also the BMW 3 series which are really nice cars of course the 3 series is a lot more expensive than the 1 series and I will have to see if it is worth more money than the 1 series or if I could live with the 1 series then there's the Mercedes A class which I really like especially the hot hatch with the 250 engine I probably won't get a A45 AMG although they are amazing but they are a little bit too expensive for a daily driver and they use too much fuel then um, the new Mercedes-Benz X-Class I have already booked an appointment for a test drive for that car it's the first luxury truck that Mercedes offers at the, on the market and I can't wait to, to finally drive it maybe I will have a look at the Volkswagen Golf GTI not the normal Golf which is too boring for me but maybe the GTI might be a car for me I don't know another car from the Volkswagen brand that I definitely want to test drive is the Volkswagen uh, Amarok which is their pickup truck I want to see how it compares to the Mercedes X-Class and if the X-Class is better or the Amarok and if they can fit the expectations I have on a pickup truck then there's a little Asian car that I really would like to test drive it's the Subaru BRZ and then there's the Nissan 370Z which I could imagine to drive but I don't know if it's a little bit too expensive and if it's that usable for everyday driving especially fuel economy fuel economy wise I have my doubts then there's the Ford brand they have the Ford Edge which would definitely be comfortable but again I don't know how practical it is for everyday usage of course they have the Mustang but the Mustang is out of the league it's not too expensive don't get me wrong it's not too expensive but it's not practical because it has a V8 and just consumes too much fuel so I don't even know if I will arrange a test drive with that car because maybe when I test drive it I will fall in love with that and then I have the edge to buy one but I really don't want to buy one and it's a little bit um, risky to arrange a test drive with a car that you know that you're going to like and then maybe you will end buying one so I hope you get the point I have another pickup I might be interested in test driving is the Ford Ranger which is the smallest or the only pickup truck Ford offers in Europe it's a small pickup truck it has like a small four-cylinder diesel engine I don't know maybe they even have a six-cylinder I have to look into that again and it has a small truck bed so it definitely would be practical but then again how is it with parking in the German cities because you guys from America that are watching my videos you have to imagine our parking houses or parking garages are really small they are only they're usually not higher than 1 meter 90 sometimes 2 meters and the parking, parking spots are especially tight and if you're getting a pickup truck you will have a hard time finding a parking spot because you can already forget about all the parking garages and 
the cities in Germany are tight as well. We have so, so many narrow streets and then there is only parking in the streets left and there are already so many cars that are parking in the streets. So it might be too difficult or too impractical to daily drive a pickup truck. Although I definitely would like to have a pickup truck. Well guys, those are the cars that currently pop into my head. Maybe you will have some suggestions. If you have, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will look at the cars and maybe arrange a test drive because it's not that urgent that I'm getting a new car so it could take a couple of months. So please be patient, but it will definitely happen this year. I will get another car. And of course, this means saying goodbye to my beloved 3 Series BMW, but it, it's the right thing to do. So if you have any suggestions, as I said, leave them in the comments. I'm looking forward to the whole series and to reading your comments and your suggestions. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.